Today I'm going to be painting the interior of this Primus Impulsor tank. My first step is to clip and clean all of the parts. Here I'm doing a dry fit to work out the easiest way to paint everything. It looks like I'm going to be able to paint the interior of this in four parts. Using some blue tack to stick the parts down onto my painting stick, I'm going to give the parts a coat of light grey spray paint. Getting out my army painter dry brushes, I'm putting a drop of Vallejo Sky Grey onto my palette. I'm going to lightly dry brush this over everything, working in circular motion, catching all of the edges. Here, I'm concentrating on adding some patches of grey onto the seats. After adding a small drop of ivory into the grey paint, everything gets a final dry brush and a dry fit to see how it's looking. Taking a small piece of foam held in a pair of tweezers, I'm going to take a drop of Vallejo flat brown and lightly sponge this onto selected parts of the interior. I'm trying to focus this on areas that would receive a lot of wear, like the areas around the doorways and the floor where boots would wear down the floor near the seats. Remember to rotate the sponge as you apply the paint, otherwise you'll end up with the same pattern repeating across the model, losing the natural effect. Vallejo Silver is used next to pick out the metal studs and the sockets. Now I want to extend the amount of wear on the seats using some well watered down brown. I'm creating larger patches on the seats and using the tip of the brush to create a jagged edge. Using the tip of the brush, I'm dotting ivory around the edges of the brown patches. Another dry fit. Whilst I've had the ivory out, I've painted the skulls and the parchment on the model. I've used some Citadel Retributor armour for the gold trims as well. Wash time now. I'm using a mix of 50-50 Citadel Agrax Earthshade and Vallejo Glaze Medium. This is an all over wash. I'm trying to make sure the mix builds up in the corners and at the bottom of the wall panels where they join the floor. Also, I'm living life on the edge, leaving an open pot of Agrax Earthshade on the desk. This finned wash will take about an hour to dry. All the silver parts get a wash with null oil straight from the pot. Next, we're going to paint the screens, the buttons and anything else inside the tank that might light up. The wet palette really comes into its own here. I'm going to put drops of blue, yellow, green and red, as well as their respective lighter colours and a drop of white. Using the wet palette will speed up painting no end. I simply work my way across painting all of the base colours. Then, using the lighter colours, we're going to add a highlight to the edges of the screens and the buttons. On some of the larger screens, I'll use a mix of the two colours for the first highlight, working towards a third highlight of the final lighter colour.
After working all the way around, we're going to add white dots onto the corners opposite of the highlight. On the screens, I'm putting some small lines of green to represent text on the screen. And we're also going to add some squiggles to look like heart rate monitors on the smaller screens. Here I'm just neatening up some of the lines with a bit of green off the palette. And with all the parts finished, I'm going to super glue everything together. Going between all the different colours without having to keep topping up a palette makes this job a breeze and it only took me a couple of hours to paint all these screens. Well that's the interior done and I think this video is certainly long enough so I'm going to make this two-parter and in the next video we'll cover finishing off the rest of the tank. Thanks for watching everybody, if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up and if you want to see what I get out to next just give us a subscribe.